Hi, my name is Teresa Campbell, and I play and teach the violin. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the violin. Uh, there are four strings on the violin, and I tell my students to remember the names of the four strings by remembering a sentence that goes, elephants are delightful giants. So this skinny string right here is your elephant string, or your E string. The next one over is your R string, which starts with the letter A. This is your delightful string, which starts with the letter D. And this big one right here is your giant string, which starts with the letter G. So, there are a couple ways to play the violin. One is called pizzicato, and that's where you pluck the strings like this, and that sounds like this. The other way is called arco, and that actually uses the bow. The bow has a couple of really cool parts to it. One is the horsehair, which is this white part right here, which actually comes from the tail of a horse. Um, the brown part here is the stick, which is usually made of wood. And then there are a couple other parts down here. We call this part the frog, and this part up here the tip. And when you play arco, it sounds like this. other cool parts on the violin. Uh, this part here is called the bridge, which bridges the strings from the fingerboard, which is this black part, to the tailpiece. And this part up here is called the scroll, which looks pretty cool, I think. The pegs up here tune the strings, and uh, there's a fine tuner down here, which also tunes the strings. A um, couple other cool sounds that you can make. One is called a glissando, which is really fun to do. Uh, you actually move your fingers up and down the fingerboard like this, and it makes a cool sound like this. Which is kind of fun. And the other one is called a tremolo, which um, is used in orchestral music and also is used sometimes in the movies, and it makes sort of a creepy, scary sound like this. So, I'm going to play a song you might know. Um, it's called Pop Goes the Weasel, and it uses both pizzicato and arco. If you listen for the pop sound, that's the pizzicato part. So here we go. I started the violin at age 10, which means that I've been playing the violin now for 23 years. If you wanted to study the violin here at McPhail, you have two options. One is called Suzuki violin, which you can start at age 3, and the other is called traditional violin, which you can start at age 5. I actually teach both, and if you're interested in finding out more about the differences between Suzuki violin and traditional violin, you can contact McPhail and they can uh, point you in a direction of a faculty member who can talk to you about the differences and see what might be right for you. So lastly, I'm going to play a song that you might recognize. <laughs> Have fun trying the violin and musical trolley this week. <laughs>